Guys, I just want to thank you guys for coming. Jane's been so excited about having you all come, and you know, she works so hard on the dressage mentors, but you guys make it fun for her, and she, that's all she talks about. And, Joe, did you go on this farm? And, yes, I did, I saw. So thank you too from me for all coming, and this is the farm that I lease in the winter. It's not the Taj Mahal, but it's, uh, is our, we love it here, it's about 20 acres, the horses get real turnout as opposed to a lot of the places at the show, so you've met my crew, Lisa was there picking presents and Melissa was here taking care of the horses and uh, Lisa's going to have her lesson after Rocky. And I'm just going to explain very briefly about Rocky. Rocky was invented by a friend of mine and Jane's named Frankie Lovato who was a horse jockey and a long time ago he fell and he needed some rehab and we all know as being a rider that riding is one of the only things that gets you fit for riding but if you're not fit for riding it's not safe to ride so it's a catch-22 so he developed this this horse I call mine Rocky Lovato everybody they have their own names he was made to simulate movement of the horse and he's been selling them for years to jockeys and rehab centers and therapeutic riding schools so he really wanted to see if he would be useful as a teaching tool for me with dressage so I said well, I, I need to try one and he very graciously sent Rocky to me about a year or a year and a half ago and I have been absolutely astounded on how much I can help my riders find their vertical balance, their lateral balance, side to side, front to back, shoulder, hip, heel. First when we sit in him, we don't even have to move him to look at that kind of a seat adjustment where your pelvis is. Then the trick is to move the horse and stay in your balance. And I kind of make a joke about it, but he is right now one of the ho only horses in my barn making any money because he, <laughs> he, he um, he's very popular and I've been able to really help a lot of my students get over fear issues or pelvis in the wrong place or hands bouncing up and down or stiff arms and I'm going to show you how that works when Sherry, right? has her lesson she won last night so come on over we're just going to get started so the interesting thing about rocky is he's actually he's not motorized so your own body makes the movement of the horse and i'm using rocky every day right now myself because i'm not two, three, four, five. I'm not cleared to ride a real horse yet either from my shoulder surgery, but I am allowed to start doing other things and cardio now and core exercises. And like I said before, my legs are so out of shape that if I got on a horse now, even if they clear me from my shoulder, I'm not safe if, I, if a horse trips or bucks or spooks because I'm so unfit for riding. So I've started riding him about a half an hour a day, and my legs are killing me. <laughs> okay. Okay, so climb aboard. So I want to try to sit, have her sit like she's sitting on her own horse where her stirrups are comfortable. So when we're talking about body position, we always want to look at whether we're sitting in the center of the horse, whether we're sitting to the side. So I can see from where I am, standing behind her, she's a little bit lower in her right hip than she is in her left. So how you naturally sit on the horse is a little bit like this. Okay? okay? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to try to get you to think about centering yourself. You're going to sit a little to the left and then I want you to weight your left seat bone down a little bit. Okay, so now your level. I am. You are. Would you guys agree? Who's sitting back there? Okay. Now, it's going to feel to her like she's crooked because she's used to sitting too much on one seat bone. So when I make that adjustment, she's going to say, God, it feels like I'm sitting on my left one. Okay. Then I want to look at the level of her shoulders to see if they are also parallel to the hip. 
and you're pretty good, but your right one is also a little low. Okay, you guys can see that who's back there? Not much, it's about a quarter inch maybe. But normally, when you drop a hip on that side, you also drop the shoulder. But if you only correct the extremities, if I'm sitting on my horse by nature like this, and my trainer says, raise your left shoulder, and now, what, I'm even more crooked than I was before. We have to fix it from the core and from the pelvis. So if I'm sitting like this and I straighten my hip and then I raise my shoulder, I'm also parallel. Okay, so we're going to think about expanding the ribs on this side. Good. Now I want you to take your shoulders up to your ears, roll them back, and just let them drop down. Beautiful. They should drop down behind your rib cage so that your core is open. Because when I start to get you to move, we're going to want to collapse and try and move with our upper body a lot instead of using your core and your seat. All right, so from the front and the back now, I feel like we're pretty level. Now I'm going to look at her from the side, and we want to have ear, shoulder, hip, heel. She's pretty good here, ear, shoulder, hip. Maybe a little bit of a hollow in the lower back, but we'll address that a little later. But the heel is maybe a fraction in front of the hip bone, okay? So I'm just going to softly bend your knee. Take it a little more. You relax. Let me move you. Just take it. Yep. And this should feel soft so that you can bend very easily without tightening here okay because a lot of times when you go to use your leg on the horse we do this right and we eh, we push in and that seat so this is another piece of practicing the wrap around of your leg while your hips are moving which is what we're going to do now i'm going to start him moving you do nothing you follow and just let it happen, okay? Okay, so this is what I call passive seat. I'm moving Rocky. She's walking or cantering, basically. It's not a really great simulator for just trot, but very good for walking canter. And you let your pelvis. Now you can see that as I'm moving it, this is also moving, okay? This should not be moving. Okay. This should be opening and all of your movement is going to come from your pelvis, okay? So I'm going to get him to move again. So you just think lift, open, open. Yeah, better. Okay, now you move him. That's right. That's right. So I'm going to look again at where she is. She stayed pretty straight, but a lot of times I'll have a rider who will start to re-collapse on one side when we start moving. So I check both sides, heel, hip, shoulder, move more. He can really go. Oh, move more? <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, now I'd like to see this a little more open. So we're gonna take our scapulas open, drop them back down like you have two pair of wings opening up and that, that's right. So your belly button and your core is forward, very good. This is a crash fast course, okay? We're only gonna do 20 minutes.